Hey, hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. So 2015 is over, and 2016 has begun. Oh, what a year for video gaming it will be. A lot of brand new, interesting, and exciting video games are coming out this year. Some sequels to long-running franchises, others brand new IPs. And I'm sure some of you are interested to know what are my most anticipated games of 2016. What are the brand new video games coming out this year that I'm most excited for? Well then, let's jump right into it and let me share with you my top 5 most anticipated video games of 2016. Number 5, Dark Souls Free. I love the first and second Dark Souls. I love the designs and the art style of the environments, the characters, the enemies, the bosses, the weapons, the armor. I love the look and feel of Dark Souls. I also love the unique third person hack and slash RPG open world gameplay. The Dark Souls games are just those one of a kind games with a one of a kind gameplay style and Dark Souls 3 looks to continue this but making some very interesting changes and additions. And I'm not just talking about the new locations, enemies, and bosses. I'm talking about legitimate changes to gameplay, like how bonfires, essentially saving your game, may have been changed. How multiplayer works. And the also apparent changes to combat to make it more Bloodborne-esque. A lot more fast-paced, bloody, and brutal, with that classic Dark Souls challenge. I'm just so excited to uncover the deep, complex lore and story that this game will present, to fight awesome boss battles, to collect awesome weapons and armor, and just, well, play another Dark Souls game. And of course, play this new Dark Souls the same way I personally play all the Dark Souls games, with mods, granting me unlimited souls and healing items. <laughs> Uh. Number 4, Hitman. While admittedly I haven't played all the Hitman games in the Hitman series, Hitman Blood Money is one of my favorite games of all time, and Hitman Absolution is a pretty damn good stealth game to boot. So I really like the Hitman games that I have played, and this new Hitman looks to be a continuation of everything I love from the Hitman games I have played. However, this new Hitman seems to bode almost open-world sandbox-esque big levels and maps. Now, the Hitman games are known for their replayability and their stealth, how you can replay missions over and over again, use different weapons, use different means to assassinate targets, find secret pathways, and this new Hitman seems to have all of that but increase the replayability in some ways by having you replay levels and, like, changing the target and having unique assassination targets that are only available for a limited time and offer unique rewards. I'm not entirely 100% sure how the game is going to work in terms of that reported mechanic, but everything else seems like a pure Hitman game. Now, granted, I have heard some disturbing and interesting things about the game. The most recent news being that this new Hitman is going to be episodic, that over the course of a few months after this game's launch, they will release more and more levels and missions, which is bizarre for a Hitman game. I don't really know how this will affect my enjoyment of the final product, but we'll see how it goes when the game comes out. Number 3, Battleborn. It is great to see Gearbox developing a new IP, actually growing and making something new that isn't another Borderlands game or finishing a game that was in development hell. Now, I love the Borderlands games, but I'm excited to see Gearbox take their experience from those games and apply it to something new. Battleborn looks to have an interesting premise, world, and setting, with an enormous cast of colorful characters that look fun to play as, as well as a variety of enemies that look fun to fight. The game can also be played solo or co-op, which is always nice, 
And even though I'm not into PvP multiplayer, the PvP multiplayer does look genuinely interesting. And I'm curious to see how the gameplay feels, because this is supposed to be a kind of a mesh of a first-person shooter and a MOBA-esque RPG. I can't wait to try out all the different characters, level them up, try out all their different abilities, and see which ones suit me. Now if you watched my top 5 most anticipated games of 2015 last year, you know Battleborn was also on that list. So I've been anticipating anticipating Battleborn for over a year now, and I'm genuinely excited and interested to see where it all ends up. Number 2, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. I love Deus Ex Human Revolution. It is a great game. It's a great sci-fi game, it's a great RPG, it's a great shooter and stealth game. I love Deus Ex Human Revolution. And I'm actually genuinely surprised that it's getting a sequel, starring protagonist from the last game, Adam Jensen. Mankind Divided once again looks to ask the hard questions. In this sci-fi dystopia about people who replace their body parts with cybernetic augments, and asking the classic question of what makes us human. Mankind Divided looks to boast beautiful visuals, many more abilities to customize Jensen with, the option to play stealthy or go guns blazing, and well, it just looks like a genuine sequel to Human Revolution. So despite the pre-order bullshit shenanigans that happened with this game, it looks like the gameplay and the story, returning and upgraded and changed from Human Revolution, looks to boast all the things I loved from that game. So still, no matter what, I am excited for Deus Ex Mankind Divided. And my number one most anticipated game of 2016 is... Well, you should probably already know this, because if you don't know this, then you haven't been watching some of my recent videos. However, if you have, and thank you for that, you already know what my most anticipated game of 2016 is. Doom. Freaking Doom. I quite liked Doom Free, and I really enjoyed playing Doom 1 and 2 with the Brutal Doom mod. And this new Doom looks to take everything I liked about the old school original Dooms and Doom Free and mash it all together to create the Doom game I have always wanted, to create a first person shooter that I have been craving for. One that finds that healthy balance of old school and new school. Doom looks to have absolutely awesome and horrific enemies to fight. Impactful, powerful, badass guns to use. A single player campaign focusing more on your skill in combat rather than cutscenes and quick time events. The multiplayer looks to be old school arena shooter multiplayer. And while I'm not a multiplayer guy, it looks like it could be fun. And then there's Doom Snap Map, taking what people love about Halo Forge mode and other level creators in general from other games, and creating a version specific to this game that looks to provide literally endless amounts of content. I cannot wait, simply cannot wait to see what the player base for Doom creates with Doom Snap Map. Doom just truly and purely looks like a first person shooter that appeals to me on so many levels. It's got bloody and gory kill animations on enemies, fast paced movement, and just a seemingly overall focus on why we play video games. Fun. Doom just looks like pure, unadulterated, bloody fun. Which is why it is my most anticipated game of 2016. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video in any way, shape, or form, please hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps you, helps me, helps everybody involved with the video if you hit the like button. What are your most anticipated games of 2016? What do you think of my most anticipated games of 2016? Let me know in the comments section below. I love reading comments, I'll get nearly enough comments. Please leave a comment. And finally, I am the Gamer Tron. I love video games, I love talking about video games. And if that's something that interests you, maybe consider supporting me and my channel by subscribing to me. Anyways guys, this has been a video, and I will see you guys later.